One of my favorite quotes is that the true measure of a man's character is how he treats people who can do absolutely nothing for him. I'm spending the day with one of those people who has that kind of character. His name is Al Harris, and his organization's called Cancer Who. <laughs> Several years ago, Al Harris was inspired to change his life when three family members were diagnosed with various forms of cancer. He saw the need for support and decided that he could be the person to lead efforts to provide it. Before I had my nonprofit, I was everyday working guy. Really ain't had too many goals. Ain't know what my purpose was. I created the nonprofit. I felt like it was my purpose. That purpose was to quit his job and dedicate his life to supporting those dealing with cancer. It's filled with days of sitting through chemotherapy and home visits and little if any source of income. But he says helping others has made him happier than he's ever been. Ever since I stopped working, mm -hmm. I started doing um, cancer food full time. Um, in my life, I've been happier. Arriving at the house of one of the patients he regularly visits, a seven-year-old with leukemia named Tristan, it was easier to understand his motivation. Tristan was much more interested in my camera than he was in being interviewed, so we made him an honorary reporter to hear his thoughts. He's nice. He brings me presents. He brings you presents? <laughs> yeah? Does it make you happy when he brings the presents? Mm, yes. You like that camera a lot, don't you? Yes. <laughs> yeah? Uh, you want me to talk to somebody else now? Yes. Okay, point taken. So I let Tristan play cameraman. You just go around and do like this, and that'll be your camera, all right? Okay. It seems like for everything he's had to deal with, he's doing remarkably well. Yeah, it's been a journey, but... With Al being around, he'd be like a, like a big brother to him. You know? It's like family, man. And as Tristan warmed up to his reporter job, his grandmother also shared her feelings. Does Mr. Al help? Does Mr. Al help? Yes, he does. Yes, very much so. And I'm so thankful for men like Mr. Al. Aren't you thankful too? Yes. And that was the perfect place to end our visit. I'm Tristan. Thanks for coming. Al Harris sells Cancer Who shirts and hats so that he has the money to buy gifts for the patients and families that he visits daily. He says that regardless of the financial challenges, people like Tristan and his family have showed him that this is his calling, to be there every day for those in need, for goodness sake. I'm Bill Anderson.